Saw power lines swaying in the wind and arcing. This video was shot over in Concord. Right now, the biggest problem has been these outages, PG&E outages across the Bay Area. And at one point, nearly 300,000 customers were without power. So this is the PG&E live outage map right now. Obviously, still some significant power outages. And here's where it stands by the numbers. More than 200,000 customers are in the dark right now. Most of them are in the South Bay on the peninsula and over in the East Bay. Betty was down in the peninsula today with a story that's gotten to be very familiar, a family who's been hit with damage over and over. Betty? Well, Sarah, right now this entire block is without power. I'm just off El Camino Real and Edge Hill Drive. And here's an example of what we're seeing all across Burlingame in particular. Take a look, a giant eucalyptus tree just smack in the middle of the road. Moments ago, we heard the sound of chainsaws also in the distance. Tonight, one Redwood City family says that their home has been saturated on and off since the beginning of the year. Yeah. We basically did not sleep all last night knowing that there was going to be heavy rain all night. And so every hour we were waking up, my husband would go and check the hallway to see if it was flooding because we didn't know if this was going to work. Despite their efforts, water still flowed under the house. Former KPIX reporter Maria Sid Medina and her husband oh, Justin nice. are temporarily staying at their in-laws home in Redwood City. And I just woke up all of a sudden. I shot up out of bed and just saw water just gushing. Their home hasn't had a chance to dry out from Sunday's storm, which flooded the bottom floor. Fans are running nonstop. Tuesday's high winds made matters worse. I get a text from my husband that a tree went down and took down part of our fence. So on top of the nightmare that we're going through with the flooding in the house, now part of our fence is down. Damaging winds knocked down several trees and power lines in nearby Burlingame, creating widespread power outages. There was an electrical fire on El Camino and Rosedale, involving down power lines that burned a newly installed residential fence and melted the asphalt. Firefighters put out new fires at this spot as the electricity came back on. Throughout the day, it was kind of getting smaller, getting bigger. You could actually eventually, and about an hour later, you could hear the electricity like actually sparking. Um, and shocks were kind of flying everywhere. At one time, the electrical cord was hissing and making kind of like an S in the air. Christina Yermanov said she heard the commotion from inside her home. It was pretty scary because we have a big power line right behind our house. And so uh, we thought we were going to have to be evacuated. Um, I had like a little bag packed of all of our stuff just in case. The wind was very high. Everything was shaking and uh, the noise, uh, even though the house is, is fairly new, we rebuilt a couple years ago. Uh, you could feel the windows and the, the chimney and everything. The SIDS thankfully did not lose power, but there's no easy fix to their problems. You just can't get a contractor out here right now with the rain. So it's, wow. it's just whatever is happening has been a nightmare. Okay, so Betty, whenever we do these stories and we talk about big power outages, everybody wants to know how long it's going to take for PG&E crews to come out and get power back on. And obviously there's downed trees. What's the ETA that we know of to fix all of this? Sarah, actually a resident just came out here asking us if we knew of an ETA because they haven't gotten one from PG&E. I can tell you that emergency crews in general just can't get to all of these trouble spots fast enough. One Hillsborough homeowner said that a tree fell on her home today. A crew came out, took off part of it from the home and said they have to move on to the next one and come back there tomorrow to clean up and finish the job. So they mm. have their hands full right now. They really do. And obviously we're grateful for whatever work they're able to pull off because this was a busy day for them for sure. Betty, thank you so much.